Hello and welcome back to the Trainers of the World Tournament. I'm your host, Delta TDS, and today I'm joined by my co-host, Will. Again. And today we've got the Unova Gym Leader, Berg, versus the Battle Chatelaine, Morgan. What is a Chatelaine exactly? I don't know. Fancy word for, I guess, party host? Eh, some some sense, French thing. Ah, the damn French. Uh, one of these teams uh, is a bit more unique, I will say. <laughs> the return of the Vespa Queen. Yes, that. But the other team does have a Verizion and a Megalatios. Uh -huh. Yeah, very. And I believe, from what I was seeing earlier, both of these are going to be uh, Mega Evolution teams. Yes. Uh, like I said, Morgan has the Mega Latias, and Berg has a Mega Heracross. I think the third one we've seen. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, we've definitely. Uh, there were... I think we had a Mega Heracross Ditto a while ago, unless I'm misremembering. Uh, maybe. You know, no, I think it was one regular Heracross, and then that one had, like, a Mega Pinsir, perhaps, and then we had a Mega Heracross on the other team. Uh, we did know. see it. Yes, we've seen it before. This thing, uh, that, hit, that thing hits hard. It does. Once these trainers are ready for the field, we can begin match number 15. How do you feel about uh, seeing another bug-type gym leader up in this match? You know, after seeing what... I'm losing my thought. After seeing what the yeah, other Aaron, Aaron can do, uh, you know, I've got some faith in him. Well, they definitely, uh, you know, uh, kind of Proven us wrong, I think, in that in that match where I believe they came out on top. Yes, uh, I think it was Aaron versus Barry. Sounds about right. Elysion going for the Sacred Sword, dealing just under 50%, while Crustle returns with the X Scissors, dealing more than half. Yeah, X Scissors are uh, hitting for neutral there. Ooh. Ouch! Crit on the Stone Edge. Super effective, too. Uh, surprised we didn't see that miss already. <laughs> it's, uh, it would have been on brand for this tournament, I think. Yeah. How many misses we've seen? Well, I mean, I, I guess, guess it wasn't a Hydro Ball, so. True. An entirely different ballgame. Also, uh, Morgan isn't cute, so. True. True. Here comes, here comes the Queen. Queen. You know, why, 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 why couldn't we get, like, a, a male evolution for Kobe? Because... Feminism. Could have, could have been, like, a, you know, like a... What are they, like a soldier bee or whatever they're called? Ooh, Stone Edge again hitting that Queen for super effective. Dang. Takes it down. This Verizion, despite being weak to Bug, it, uh... Put him no it's actually neutral to Bug because of that secondary fighting type. I think you're right. Still doing quite a bit. Yeah, but, uh, here, here comes, comes that Leaf and e, who... Pretty, pretty quick, quick Pokemon. Pokemon. I don't know if it's quite as fast as Verizion, though, so... We might just see... Another one-shot here. This Verizion... <laughs> I don't know how, how, how do you deal, deal with, with this thing? thing. I guess with fire, but Berg doesn't have any of that. Yeah, yeah that's kind of antithetical to what he is, I think. If he's got any sort of flying type move on those Pokemon. Oh, then maybe. that's the question is, does he? I think, you know, maybe the Vespa Queen did, but uh, that thing got kind of demolished. Yeah. Well, and then we see the aerial ace from Levy. So, hey, uh, question answered. Here comes the, the Swalot. 
Very unique Pokemon. Uh, not many trainers have it. No, not, not exactly, exactly a super popular choice. choice. Going for the stockpile, raising up its defenses. Going for another. While a Scavalier just doubles its attack, completely nullifying that boost. Essentially. Pretty much. This, uh, this kind of weird. It can actually hit pretty hard. Now, is... Oh. Goes for the Earthquake while it sets up another... Sword Yes. Yeah. Scavalier is just completely unbothered by the Earthquake, pretty much. We'll see what it can do, see if it has any moves to actually hit this wall, though. I mean, once you get past a certain amount of attack, you know, you can kind of probably just hit most anything with anything. It's going to deal some damage, but... Yeah. Swallow, you know, it's, it's uh, pretty tanky, especially when it's using the stockpile over and over again. Yeah, but it is only locked to, like, three. So it's got you know, maybe... Nobody, nobody ever uses, uses this move, so, so I really don't, don't even know what it does, in truth. Yeah. Uh, I think it pairs well with Spit Up and Swallow, but... I don't know if Swallow's got either of those moves. Oh, well, I assume it would probably at least have Swallow, considering it's, uh... That's the same. Yeah. I don't know, maybe. Going for the Iron Head and dealing at three quarters of Swallot's health. Yeah, that, that definitely hurt. Can't take another one of those. No. Choose it to just go for more ship. And here comes the Lias. Of course, you know, the problem with the Scavalier, even when it's set up, it's not very fast. Uh-oh, it's very slow. We might just, you know, this Lagas. I think Lagas can learn Fire Blast, I believe, or Flamethrower. Might just see this thing just pop like a balloon. Yeah. Got a. Oh, Dragon Pulse. Not doing a lot while it just one shots Latias. Uh, <laughs> three times attack boosted, super effective Mega Horn. You know, not gonna like that very much. This is, uh, giving me, uh, PTSD back to, uh... God, I, I think match 13. Yep, where, uh, just, you, you can't let these things set up. You really can't. Uh-uh. No. Before this, I'd say Morgan was in a really advantageous position, but now they're actually down a Pokemon, and... This is Scavalier's looking real scary. Yeah. Here comes the Mantine. Maybe Mantine has some sort of answer to this. And one, one can, can only hope. hope. Air Slash. It's got the Air Slash and it doesn't kill, and the resistant Iron Head still enough to one shot it. It needs one attack left to just take yes, out this I mean, Scavalier. This there's no way this Sawzlock is, is slower, you just can't have it, and you could seize on this thing and go down. Crit and aggro. Oh, absolutely. Scavalier finally going down after it takes that, what, three Pokemon? Four? No, I think three. it, yeah, I think it was three. Yeah, three, because Levani took out... Levani took out that Brazilian, that's correct. correct. Uh, uh, we, we have, have yet, yet to see this Mega Heracross from Bird. Sending out the Excelgore. Uh, you know, pretty cool Pokemon. Um, not, not one of my all-time favorites, but... Bug Buzz just taking out that sauce bug. Yep, it's not gonna like that at all. Left key is Morgan's last Pokemon. Yep. 
Buffy, Buffy, not really known, known for its offensive capabilities, exactly. No. Although, ooh, focus, focus miss. That dancing queen does like to do probably a little bit more than expected. Focus blast hitting, but not dealing half its health. While wow, Dazzling Gleam does take out that Excel board. It does, although, you know, I'm kind of expecting this Mega Aircross to just come in. I don't know what Cluffy's going to be able to do to it. I think we're going to see the Clef Key come back. Uh, you know what? If you want to place some bets on that? I don't want to place bets on it now. <laughs> uh, well, that's probably good for you, because it's dead. And battle number one goes to Berg. Once again, showing that bug types aren't that weak. What is it with these bug types in this tournament? I don't know. I'm I'm kind of excited to see what Bugsy does next. We're, we're just gonna, it's, it's gonna, gonna be, be like the semis. We're, we're just gonna, gonna have like four bug trainers. Yeah. Uh, they are putting in quite the work despite their uh, many weaknesses. This bug type, everyone looks down on it. Yeah, not a uh, probably pretty commonly kind of clowned on as being just stereotypically just like the weakest type. But I mean, next to Ice. But... Well, I mean, I don't know. I mean, with recent iterations, I think Ice has kind of made a comeback. I mean, granted, we're not good. We're not using Gen Nine in this tournament. Which, Which I, I think is really kind of where it popped off, but even still, yeah. Gen Nine Ice Types got a huge, boot, a, a huge buff in that they can remove their Ice Typing. <laughs> well, well, you, you can, can apply, apply that to Bug Type, type too, to be completely fair. fair. Look, Berg and Aaron have shown that they don't need to remove that type. They just That's definitely... they make it work. It's definitely true. Um. Yeah. Back, back to what we were saying earlier, yeah, I can't, can't wait for, for Bugsy to just completely demolish Cynthia. Oh, yeah. yeah no, no contest. Oh, yeah. That's the grand finals right there. No, no, no. We, we already established that's, that's like quarterfinals match, match, and then we're, we're going to have a semis of all, you know, four bunch triggers. Oh, yeah. True. Yeah, Cynthia, Cynthia, gets, Cynthia gets knocked, knocked out round two to, you know, like, a uh, fucking slick spin rack. <laughs> How'd that get in the tournament? What the hell? That's not, it's, it's not, not even a trigger, it's just, just a random, it's a wild spin rack. Cynthia found knocked out on the stadium, or in the stadium. <laughs> Fifteen minutes, minutes later, later match, you find her backstage, backstage just cocooned. Ugh. What, uh, last battle we saw Crustle and Verizion lead? I know Verizion for sure. Mm -hmm. Yes, no, you are correct. Crustle okay. and Verizion. I do wonder what Morgan will do differently to, uh, assess the threat that is these bug types. Yeah, that's a good, uh, good question. We're seeing the Asselgor come out along with the Mantine. I don't think we saw Mantine do much last game. No, I, I don't. I don't think we did. I think it got off like an air slash that didn't KO the the Escavalier, and then it died. Oh, speak of the devil! Look who it is. <laughs> and takes the takes the air slash. Just does not care. No, we're about to see this thing set up. Well, that's the thing is, you know, I think Mantine's definitely a bigger threat to it than the Swallow was. I don't know if it can just sit there and click sword stance three times like it did last game. And also that iron head that took out the Mantine the first first round, not gonna do it this time. Without that attack boost. Yeah. I mean if Air Slash continues doing thirty percent, it could maybe get one sword stance off and then go for an iron head. It, yeah, it, it can, can do one. one. Maybe two, but, but then, then you're risking, risking like, like maybe it crits, maybe the 30% was a low roll and it takes you out. Yeah. 
instead choosing to switch the vest between eat up that scald, uh, did get burned, burn, though. Ooh. Unfortunate. I think. Is it? God, I'm so out of the Pokemon loop. That's between Toxix the Mantine as it sets up the Aqua Pink. Aqua Ring's definitely an interesting, interesting move. Yeah. Kind of like, like a, a almost a, a reverse uh, burn, burn or poison in a sense. Yeah. Uh, Vespiquin goes down to Air Slash. Yep, Air Slash taking it out. That uh, defense boost from the Defend Order, not enough to save it from another Air Slash. Of course, even with the Aqua Ring healing it up every turn, that Manti's not going to want to stay in forever because that toxic damage is just going to keep eating away at it, and Aubrey's not going to save from that at all. Yeah. I mean, it might live, what, maybe two more turns? Or two extra turns? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> maybe not even. Aquarine doesn't, doesn't actually heal for that much. I know Toxic regularly takes out a Pokemon in six turns. I think. Unless it's been buffed or debuffed. Or nerfed, not debuffed. Ugh! Numbers. What are those? We don't care. Ouch, that crit might have mattered. Uh, taking Crystal down to a sturdy. Which, with a shell smash up, this thing might actually outspeed this panty. Choosing to play it safe, switch out to the cleft key. Takes a rock side, doesn't really like it, but it doesn't quite do half. Ooh, yeah, that crossel is pretty fast. Takes out the cleft key with an earthquake. Crossel back, facing its uh, enemy from ma Battle 1. Thing that took it out. A <laughs> grudge match. Oh, Ouch! <laughs> oh, what am I saying? saying? You can't, these these bug types, you, you can't, can't let them set up! You uh -uh. just can't! No, they're terrifying. Earthquake takes out Swalot. No, not the Crustle Sweep. <laughs> Tell me that one of these Pokemon has a priority move, please! I think we're getting the Crustle Sweep. Watch this. Surely, surely Megalodeus is faster. Nope. Nope. <laughs> nope. Ah! Not slim, <laughs> Megalodias takes out the threat. Two percent left. Not a lot to live on, but you know it no. did. What it <laughs> now the Excel board. This thing is, you know, know name that for a reason because this thing's fast, fast as hell. Yeah. And it has taken out that Latias, so Morgan's gonna have to rely on Mantine and Sawsbug to uh, bring it back. Which yeah, is... that Sawsbug probably not the number one pick, you know. No. Not into a bunch of bug types. Oh, unfortunate burn there. Poison Jab, doing a little bit of damage. Uh, that Mantine, I think, should die to the Toxic next turn, I believe. If not, I mean, if not the turn after. Yeah, there it goes. Now we're down to just that Sawsbuck versus three, three bugs. Not a good time. And I believe we're going to see the Mega Heracross just take this thing out. Yep, most likely. Oh, not, not even, even Mega. mega. <laughs> Disrespectful. And that's it. Uh, match number 15 goes to the Unova Gym Leader Berg.
Let's get Have we seen a bug trainer lose yet? yet? I don't think so. I think they're going undefeated. Which is <laughs> really insane. The, the memes become, become reality. Uh, join us... Wait, oh. Uh, join us Monday, where we will be seeing Alistair versus Winona. And See you. That, uh, Winona has uh, Rayquaza, which is pretty terrifying. But uh, thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you then. Peace.